Hello everyone, this is Ariane Arsenault from La Fée de la Mer, Handmade Soaps in the Magdalene Islands, Quebec, Canada. It is spring, which means it is time for me to hurry up and make my summer soaps so that they are ready in time for the season. And today I am making our Sunset at the Lighthouse Red Palm Oil Soap. As I just said, yes, this soap contains palm oil, as many of our other soaps do. However, we strictly use Palm and Ripe, which is a sustainably and ethically produced organic palm oil, and it is the palm oil that you want to see in any product that you buy that contain palm oil, whether it is food or cosmetics. Um, you can find information on the palmdunright.com website as to who are the brand partners and what brands use the good palm oil that has nothing to do with all the deforestation that takes part in Indonesia, Malaysia, and other countries. And this is the red palm oil that will be giving the orange sunset sky color to my soap. Once the soap will be cut, I will be stamping it with a lighthouse stamp that I had made. And this is actually a lighthouse that we have here in the Magdalene Islands. My friend Anouk, who's an amazing artist, drew this for me. And then I had the stamps produced by Savonnerie La Bulle, which is also a local business from uh, Quebec and um, can't wait to test these on my soaps. All that I need to add now is my olive oil and we will start blending the lye solution and make some soap. So the reasons why I have two stock pots is that I am actually making two batches of this soap and only one portion of this soap will contain the red palm oil to have the orange colors. And this portion will be used to make the yellow and the pink sunset sky colors using micas from Nurture Soaps. It's time to mix the lye solution to my stock pots of oil. And I put the tripod a little bit further away from the table so you can kind of see everything because with all of the containers I will have to fill, color, and scent, I'm not gonna have the time to run around and move the tripod. So hopefully you see everything well. And if you have any questions, please pop them down in the comment section down below and I will be glad to answer. So shall we? The soap is nice and fluid. I'm gonna now split my batch to color. First, the yellow. Red. I have my fragrance oil right here, which is Grapefruit Ruby Red by B Scented.
Well, that one was kind of sporty, right? <laughs> two batches, two stock pots. Yes, in the mold. Now time to swirl. Are you wondering how I'm gonna wash all of this mess? I got so many stock pots and pitchers dirty with raw soap batter. Well, good news, I have a little video for you. It's already uploaded. Just click the link right up here and you'll see how I clean up a soapy mess after soap making. And it is now time to give a little texture to the top of the soap. I am so happy this went so well. Making a big slab of soap like this is quite something. Making two is a little bit <laughs> even more. Um, you know, you need to be very well prepared and I was ah, a little bit doubting myself, but yes, the batter was fluid all the way through the end and the tops are beautiful and I cannot wait to cut it. But now I will insulate the soap and I will be back tomorrow to cut it. However, this will be in part two of this video because I think it's gonna be a long one. Um, so I'll wrap it up for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy watching me make soaps here in my soap shop. And if I can be of any help or if I can inspire anyone, I'm always so happy. You can check the description box down below if you are a maker, as we have a Facebook group called Makers Collab, and it is a great place to find inspiration, share ideas, and so much more. Thank you so much, take care, and I'll be back for the cut in part two.